Hi, it's Darnell with Whale Oven Recipes. Today, I'm going to cook up a frozen chicken pot pie in the New Wave Brio 14Q air fryer oven. So we can see how this does doing something like a frozen chicken pot pie right now. All right, so we got ourselves a Marie Calendar's frozen chicken pot pie here. We're just going to set that here for a moment. We're going to do this with a preheat and see if that helps things cook along and have the cooker fully heated before we start you know cooking on this frozen chicken pot pie that's going to need to get heated on all sides to get it nice and heated up. So I'm going to turn the New Wave Brio 14Q on, go up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to set my time. I'm going to try 35 minutes as the cook time. We'll see how that works out. Oh, went a little too far. So we'll get back down to 35 minutes. Sorry for a little beep there, but uh, this thing goes down to 35. There we go. So we've got 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 minutes. I'm going to hit the preheat button to get things preheated. And then I'm going to hit start. And I'll bring you back after this is preheated. All right, our preheat has completed. So I'm just going to open up the box here get my chicken pot pie out, open this box up, and to open up the New Wave Brio, the auto pauses, you see I've got the rack on the lowest rack holder there, just going to stick my chicken pot pie in there just like that, close up, and now it just starts cooking right away, so we'll let this cook for 35 minutes and I'll bring you on back and we'll see what happens. Alright, so 25 minutes have passed, but I want to open up and have a look at it now because I'll show you what I'm seeing in here. Things are looking like they've been cooked up pretty good, at least on the top of it. So I want to see if that's just the top or if the whole thing is well cooked. Look at that. It's reading, well, 164, 162. It's reading in the one well actually as I go in no it's reading much hotter let me let me spin this around let me get it out I'm just gonna get it out and test it some more I'm gonna show you this this is 25 minutes no actually it's cold it's real cold Maybe I was getting some heat. Maybe I was getting some heat from the inside there that was giving me a, a false impression. But it's only it's only in the 120s. It's cold. I thought it might already be cold, already fully cooked, but it's not. So I'm putting it back in there. I'm gonna give it those last 10 minutes. It's looking really well cooked on the top though. So we'll let it ride those last 10 minutes, and then we'll check it again, make absolutely certain that it's fully cooked. All right, now 30 minutes have passed. I'm going to try again now because I'm seeing stuff bubbling off the top of it. You see that top's bubble bubbling. So let's take a look now. We're at the 166. Well, we're at 166, and then it starts dropping. So. And over here we're in the 170s, 180s. So we're safe now. I wasn't too sure before. It was hitting some spots that seemed really cold as opposed to some spots that seemed really hot. But now I'm getting a pretty hot read all over. So I'm confident now that it's fully cooked after 30 minutes. So that's a pretty good time to have a chicken pot pie from frozen in just 30 minutes. That means that this cooks as quickly as the New Wave Primo Combo Grill Oven getting a frozen chicken pot pie knocked out in 30 minutes after preheat. So I'm going to give this some good time to cool down and then uh, when I see you again we'll be taste testing. Alright here's our chicken pot pie in just 30 minutes. So I'm just basically breaking some of the top it breaks in there. Nice crispy top. It's still pretty hot so we'll be very careful uh, doing this taste test because we don't want this to be the burn test. Wow this thing is still piping hot. It's been about maybe 15 minutes and it's still piping. 
Ooh, that was my piece of chicken there. Looks like a volcano. Okay, thank God I didn't burn myself, <laughs> but it turned out well. Very good. New Wave Brio 14Q, great job. So uh, definitely looking forward to your comments. You can find this, other heating instructions and recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always get to this YouTube channel through waveovenrecipes.com, Twitter and Instagram, Wave Oven Recipes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, Hit the notification bell and good eating.